Welcome back. Tom Hartman here with you. Let's check in with our old buddy Greg Palace, the investigative journalist, author, filmmaker. His most recent, The Best Democracy Money Can Buy. You can watch it over on Amazon. GregPalace.com, of course, is his website. You can tweet him at Greg underscore Palace. Greg, welcome back to the program. Glad to be with you again, Tom. It's always great having you, Greg. I understand that you are suing Ohio and Kansas. Tell me about this. And 23 other states. But we start with Ohio and Kansas. If you remember last time we spoke, we had a decision by the Supreme Court in the in a case of Ohio removing half a million voters. because It was triggered by the fact they didn't vote or they were on our what we call the cross-check list. In other words, the state had evidence that, that half a million people had moved in 2012 from the state. It's one of the big reasons um, Donald Trump won Ohio by removing the voters that they didn't like. Well, usually the Supreme Court is the final word on these issues, but in this case it really isn't because the court said as a matter of law, Ohio can remove people who don't return a postcard. They took sending you a postcard is proof you've moved. By the way, Tom, usually when the postcard comes back, uh, address the unknown or something, that's usually the evidence you've moved, not when it's successfully delivered. It usually means you're there. But they removed people because the list was overwhelmingly young voters, poor voters, voters of color. So what we've done is something very simple. We are suing on a matter of fact whether these people who've been targeted in Ohio, and a big chunk of the list was provided Ohio by, guess whom, Chris Kobach of Kansas, uh, Trump's vote thief in chief, now running for governor. And the suit simply says, we want all the names of people who've been purged. By the way, Ohio has given us the, those now. And we want who got postcards, who returned them, et cetera, because it's very easy to find out if someone actually moved, um, whether they returned a postcard or not. It's knock on their door and say, are you still here? And in fact, I did that. Uh, with Donald Alexander Webster of Dayton, Ohio, who is on the list Supposed to get a postcard. He says he never received it. Probably, you know, it looks like junk mail. He'd throw it out. Uh, Donald Alexander Webster was told he had moved to Virginia to register as Donald Eugene Webster. Um, he says never been to, uh, to Virginia and he's never been a Eugene. And there he was, the voter who supposedly moved. We believe that this is the case with, with the vast majority of those voters who were removed there. Hmm. being removed in Kansas. And by the way, one thing that has not been mentioned in the media, being removed in at least two dozen other GOP-controlled states. We've asked them all for their purge lists, all for their postcards, all for the information. If we can prove that the postcard is not a, quote, reasonable method of determining whether someone's moved, usually used, you know, change of address forms from the post office. Uh, if the postcard not being returned is not reasonable, they can't enforce the Supreme Court decision. It won't stand. Wow. So, uh, so, so yeah. interesting. So how, how, how did, you know, lawsuits are not cheap, Greg. Do you, oh. Are you crowdfunding this thing or, you know, how, uh, well, yeah, are you doing exactly. it in an alliance with other people? What's going on? You, you, you betcha. Number one in Kansas, uh, we've, we've teamed up with the ACLU of Kansas, the most, the busiest ACLU in America, fighting Chris Kobach on 11 fronts. They have filed parallel demands for all the lists that are working with us, ACLU of, of Kansas. In Ohio, the great Bob Petrakis, the lawyer, uh, the, the voting rights lawyer. Yep. And in, uh, in Georgia, we're working with uh, uh, what was originally an organization founded by Stacey Abrams. She knows that her election depends on all people of all colors being able to vote. Then she wins. Uh, and in, um, in Illinois where I think we stand a good chance of winning. The Reverend Jesse Jackson is my co-plaintiff. Now we are, and I want to thank the firm of Jeannie Meyer, Meyer Mazaki, a major plaintiff's law firm, which is taking on the case in all 25 states. Wow. As he is a plaintiff and uh, no charge to the Palace Investigative Fund. However, I will admit there's a whole lot of cost in doing two things, in bringing the case, in analyzing the data, in which in another life I was a uh, litigation expert doing this work and in investigations. And um, so we are crowdsourcing it at gregpalace.com, the Palace Investigative Fund, a not-for-profit, nonpartisan operation. Mm -hmm. That's my last commercial ever on that. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, and so we are, and then we'll be working with activist groups throughout the nation in each of these states, in, and we're getting people in Arizona and Tennessee and elsewhere. Please contact gregpalace.com if you want to be a plaintiff, if you want to participate we can beat them but it's going to be done 
door by door, case by case, until we show that these lists are just racist purge sheets aimed at the bleaching the voter rolls whiter than white. Yeah, which is, you know, so insanely obvious that this is what's been going on, and it's been going on for, uh, you know, decades now. And uh, it needs to be put it just to an accelerated. End. Co yeah, Kobach has kind of, you know, energized it, put it into cyberspace. He's helping all these states uh, with the computer power, and and we know that behind Kobach, of course, he's Wichita, Kansas, and that's the Coke money, uh, which we which we were able to directly trace. Um, this whole cabal, this idea that, and he's using the cross check list saying people have voted twice, but he told me that the real reason, and he admitted to me, he said the real reason is to tell states these people have moved. No, they haven't. Donald uh, Alexander Webster is there at home in Dayton, Ohio. We went through name after name after name. We've talked to people. We went to their homes. Even when they weren't home, their names are still on the mailbox. They're there. They're at work. You know, um, this is not about people moving. This is about people being moved off the voter rolls illegally and uh, the people who don't return the postcards, like uh, students who just moved dorm rooms, poor people who've moved within an apartment building or down the street, and they're losing their vote. White, older suburbanites with homes uh, you know, that they've had for 20 years, they return the cards. They know how that system works. Half the people on the list are just uh, are so clearly bogus when you look at the list. Mm. Uh, of you know people that they sent postcards to. So we're getting all the information. We are suing because they're stonewalling us. The worst being Kobach himself, who won't give us any information whatsoever. Um, and but the information, uh, Oklahoma has turned over all their information to us, and it's it's sickening to see the people that they've removed. People who just moved into the state, registered, and they say, oh well, you didn't unregister in your other state, so you lose your right to vote. So we're doing this purge by postcard cost one half million votes in the single swing state of Ohio, figure, well, I, I'm trying to estimate, but several million nationwide if this is allowed to stand without challenge. So we're challenging it. Yeah. Good on you, Greg. We're talking to Greg Pallas, the investigative journalist, author, filmmaker, his most recent The Best Democracy Money Can Buy, gregpallas.com, tweet, uh, underscore, Greg underscore Pallas. Um, you know, Greg, that's pretty comprehensive. What is, what... You know, do you think that, the, what are the chances that you will have some success before the elections in November and that you can actually get some of these people back on the voter rolls? Are there even mechanisms to do that? Yes, actually pretty good. Now, I won't say everywhere. One thing that happens when we tell these people to give us their lists, show us their procedures, is they start panicking and, and get out of the Kobach uh, and Houston, that's the guy from Ohio, get out of their purge program. Kentucky dropped out. Uh, Washington State, which is a Republican Secretary of State, dropped out. We have a lot of people who are not, who are not going to use this program. We're not going to be purging by postcard. I think once we expose it, you're going to, we're going to actually do. You know, part of the reason we're raising funds is to do the publicity, so I can get out there and make and do reports for Tom Hartman out in in Ohio and Michigan and and uh, Wisconsin and the other states where purge by postcard is a is a terrible disease and. See if we can push them off these programs, even without having to go to court. Great. Good and important work you're doing, as always. Greg Pallas, keep up the great work, my friend. Thank you, Tom. Good talking with you. Greg Pallas, you can uh, find all the information at gregpallast, P-A-L-A-S-T dot com. Uh, you can tweet him at Greg underscore Pallas. Spread the word. You know, the, this is what Greg is up to now, and it's a fine thing. We'll be back.